All right, here's how you do this cool little effect. Basically, the bread and butter is a plugin called Move Transition. Move Transition includes a little filter called Audio Move, which lets you basically manipulate sources based on how much volume is in an audio channel. So if I were to set this to my microphone, you can you can basically manipulate it through your microphone. You can manipulate it through, you know, a separate channel if you have your music separated. I have it to desktop because I haven't. Uh, I haven't separated my audio, but this is basically how I do it uh, in the source in the. So, for example, intro, I have intermission, which is its own scene, which includes pretty much everything. You can ignore these ones. These are just browser sources. But then I have the starting soon. And it's just basically what I these are the two big things uh, on BRB. I have the same thing, but I just add another a different uh, text. So what you need to do is you need to make a scene, a new scene, call it whatever. I call it intermission. Uh, and then you need to add your art. Your art uh, needs to be separated at least into background and then a transparent image. I also have a thing called a phantom. Uh, basically what it is, it's a black. It's the same uh, image as the front, but it's just colored in black. I just used Photoshop color fill, medic gray, black, that kind of stuff. Uh, you will see what purpose this serves later. But whenever you uh, start off doing this, you need to make sure that the full canvas size of these are always 1920 by 1080 or whatever stream size you're streaming at. If you go to settings into video, you can see the base canvas resolution. It always needs to be this size um, because if you start adding something that is 4K, scale it down to 1080p and you start changing the values of that, you're going to have to do a whole bunch of math. So it's just better to crop it and size it before you do anything else. So once you got these three started, you need to drag them into your scene and basically layer them how you, how you want it. I have BG front. BG right and left, which is just the phantom one, this one, twice. And then I have the background. Uh, and what I have on the BG front, uh, I'll show you again what it looks like. I have a shader called a VHS shader. Uh, I can't really remember where I got this VHS shader, but you can download stream effects or shader filter plus and see if they're included. They are an example shader. Um, I think, yeah, this one's called OBS shader filter. So I think it's included in the shader filter plus. I'm unsure though. You're going to have to look, look for yourself a little bit. I just added this as a, as a filter. Um, I just clicked here, clicked user defined shader or just normal shader. Uh, and I got all these things. I added the shader and basically these things are what you can manipulate with audio move. Um, but what is an audio move? You might ask, uh, the audio move is basically the thing that, you know, moves everything based on audio levels. So what you need to do is you need to find the, the audio channel that your music goes through. Mine goes through desktop. So just right click on that, go to filters. And as you can see, I already have mine set up, but what you need to do, you need to click the plus and audio move. Once you do that, you will get these options. So we'll go through one, one at a time, uh, to show you guys how I have set mine up. Basically, meter type, uh, there are magnitude, peak sample, peak true, input peak sample, and input peak, input peak true. I always go for peak sample. Uh, it basically goes, uh, imagine this thing as being a slider. When it's at, when it, when, when there's no audio at all, it's at zero. And when it's at the absolute top, it's at a hundred, like a hundred percent. What this will do is whenever you do anything uh, or whenever you pump any audio through, this will react based on the peak sample, like where the peak is at the moment. So I will show you. You can see the peak moving up and down like this. This is where it will be basically. Um, this is where it will be automating.
easing just means that it fades more back and forth. If you set this to zero, it will always be at the the where the peak is. I do not recommend that. It will cause it, it can cause epilepsy because it's very flickery. So just add somewhere between 75 to 90 easing. Um, action is basically what you want the plugin to change. If you want it to change, for example, as I have in this case, the if I go to right, uh, this will move this black thing to the right. If you look at this, you can see how it moves left and right. That's basically the move transition, what it does. So this one goes to intermission into the scene intermission, into the source BG right. This is the reason why you should make a separate scene because otherwise if you have intro, BRB and ending, you need to add three of these. Uh, so it's just much simpler. And also if you wanna go in and change anything and have it applied to all of them, you just need to change one thing. So trust me, make a source and do, do it as I did. <laughs> um, and then you basically change it to position X. Position X means uh, X is left and right. And then there's also Y. Y is up and down. Uh, the base value basically means where it's at right now. So I'll always set this to zero. Uh, if I change this to like 80, it will move it 80 pixels over. Um, and then it will add another 40. So once, it's, once this one he hits the actual peak, it will be at 120, if that makes sense. So I always set this to zero and then it will move with a factor of 40 pixels. So once this one is at its peak, it will have moved 40 pixels to the right. I have the same one on the left, but basically since I want it to move to the left, I factor it by negative 40. I move it negative 40 uh, basically to move it to the left. Uh, and that's basically the front or the left and right. Then we go into the actual settings for the front. This is the glitchy effect that you saw earlier. And basically what you do is you select setting instead of, uh, instead of transform. Here you can also do source visibility, which will turn, which will turn it on and off um, like this based on where the audio is. You can tinker with that yourself. You can also do filter enable if you wanna do that. I use setting because it can, it's easier to basically move up and down, back and forth. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the visibility and filter enable, it's a hard like on or off. There's no you know fading in between. Then you select the filter. The filter on my BG front is called VHS. So make sure to name the filter so you actually know which ones you're, you're manipulating. Then it is uh, basically the setting in the actual filter minus alpha percentage. You can see here, if I go back, alpha percentage. Um, and then basically this starts at zero. Base value is always where it, where, where, where the setting should be once it's at zero. Once there's no audio going through, this is the value that it should go through. So if I set this to like, I don't know, 90, you can see that my 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 art gets darker and that's because the alpha percentage goes up to 100 almost. So change it to zero because I don't want it to display at all uh, once it's silent. And the factor on filter settings, they are not the same as moving it 40 pixels left and right. You're gonna have to tinker with this a little bit yourself, change it to 10, maybe 20, 50, 100, see how it works. Uh, and that's basically how you're gonna do it. As an example, I have another one which is basically the glitch intensity. Um, and this one I only have to factor with a factor of two. So set it to zero or wherever you want it. You can do it the other way. So you can do a base value at two and then factor minus two, and then it will basically go down to zero the higher the volume is. Um, and that's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, now, how I have it set up is I also have it scale up like this. Which I think is pretty cool. And also the main reason why you should add it as a, as a separate scene. So what I do in my intro is I add the scene by just going here, clicking scene. 
intermission and then adding it and you will you will get this you can also manipulate scenes using uh the transform setting so what i've done is i have added intermission and then i've added an intermission scale one thing to note one thing that is super important is that whenever you add anything like let's say uh oh actually let's go back and show you the background so the background scales down based on how loud it is i'll show you so it scales down however you need to change the actual transform so right now you can see it scales to the center that's because i've selected it to the center um so what you need to do is go to bg background go to transform and edit transform and then you need to change positional alignment this is where the actual if you've used photoshop or clip studio paint you always get a little dot where the actual image scales from once you pull on the the scaling handles or whatever i should call them um if you change this to top left it which it which it is by by default if i just drag the same thing in here and then go transform edit transform it will be top left so always make sure to go transform edit transform change this to center and then move it over to the center also do not scale do not scale it like this here if you if you're planning on using it with audio move Always keep it at its original size. Go to transform, reset transform, then do the edit transform, center, close, move it back to where you want it. So I'll remove this to show you my BG, my background. So the background scale, since you can see it is a little bit bigger, but I have set the base value to 1.07, which means that it's zoomed in. If I changed it to this to zero, so one means that it's its exact size. So I changed it to 107. And since it is scaling down, I need to factor it by negative 0.07. If I changed it to zero point, I don't know, 0.2 you will see that it will also start doing uh there will be a black border so just make sure that if you're going to scale something down factor it by the exact same um base value as you did or less so this is the maximum that we can do if we want to do 0.2 you should change this to 0.2 as well because then it can never go below one if that makes sense so i have this to 07 and 07 now what i do in the intro is i actually scale the intermission in the same way but wait we have to do the same thing here transform edit transform and change it to center if you wanted to come up from from you know center right center, bottom left bottom center top center you can absolutely do so but you need to change the positional alignment otherwise it will scale from the top left and it will just scale out like this all right so once you got all of that included i just added intermission i scaled it as i showed before and then uh it should look something like this